Hello everyone, while garlic season is in the full swing, so let's use it for something. I'm gonna show you how you can steam fish in wild garlic, how you can make wild garlic sauce, and how you can use them in fine dining recipe. So let's do it. And let's start with garlic sauce. I'm gonna need wild garlic, leek, fish stock, white wine, double cream, salt and pepper. So first, I cut leek in the half, clean it properly, and then chop it roughly. Doesn't really matter how you chop it, just try to chop it to similar size. Now I start with vegetable oil inside the pot, and I'm gonna sweat my leek on medium heat. In few minutes, I can put white wine in, and I'm gonna reduce it down. So the wine is reducing, and now we can start with the puree. For this recipe, I'm gonna use cauliflower puree, because I think it's gonna be good taste with garlic, and it's gonna look cool, because everything is gonna be green and white. I have here one cauliflower, so I'm gonna clean it, and pick few nice florets for my garnish. You can do them bigger or smaller, that's up to you, but try to pick the same sizes, so they are cooking the same time. And I'm gonna keep them on the side for later. My wine is reduced now, so I can put my fish stock in, season it with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna cook everything until the leek will be very soft. And in the meantime, I'm gonna chop my cauliflower for the puree. At this time, is my leek cooked enough, so I can put my double cream in. Also, I put my wild garlic, and I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes. Last step is to blitz everything inside the blender and wild garlic sauce will be ready to go. If you wanna make it super smooth, I recommend you to pass it through the chinois. Just make sure you pass it properly so you don't gonna lose the taste and the thickness from the vegetable. And while garlic sauce is done, if you want to use it next day, I recommend you to cool it down very fast on top of the ice, but if you want to use it straight away, leave it how is it. And now, let's finish the puree. So I'm gonna cook my cauliflower inside the boiling water, then I transfer it inside the blender, season it with salt, I also add some double cream, and I'm gonna blend it properly. I put it inside a plastic bottle and it will be ready for the plating. The next thing I want to do is my cashew crumble. So I'm gonna mix cashew nuts with salt, pepper and dry paprika inside the blender and I'm gonna blend it properly. And I'm gonna leave it on the side for later. So my puree and the sauce are done, and now I can start with the fish. So I have here this beautiful halibut, and I'm gonna cut my portions of it. And guys, if you are a passionate amateur cook who would like to move your cooking skills to the next level, learn all fine dining basics so you can keep creating your own dishes, cook them without any recipes and play them like a professional chef at home. And would you like me to personally help you? You can apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching on my website. And if you will be good fit, 
we can start work together on your cooking goals. So the fish is prepared and now I have to prepare also my wild garlic. And I need to blanch it very fast. So I'm gonna put my wild garlic inside the boiling water for 30 seconds and then move it inside the water with ice. Like this, I keep nice green color and the garlic become more playable. And now I need to spread the wild garlic nicely on the chopping board. And if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you first time here, click the subscribe button down below. So you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. Now I can season my fish with salt, pepper and dry oregano and let's roll it. So I put the fish on top of the wild garlic. I also cut the sides and I'm gonna roll it nicely. You can put also clean film underneath, but I think it's not necessary. And the halibut is ready for the steamer. My water is already boiling, so I season it with salt and I'm gonna cook my cauliflower florets inside. And on the top, I'm gonna steam in the same time my halibut. Cauliflower florets will be cooked much faster. You need just around two minutes, so you wanna take them out first. So when they are ready, I take them out and keep cooking my fish. And in the meantime, I finish my cauliflower. So I'm gonna cut it in the half and season it with my nut crumble. At this time, is my halibut ready as well? So let's do the plating. And today, I'm gonna do two plating options. The second plating, you can watch like always on my Patreon page. Get the link in the description down below. For this plating, I start with cauliflower puree. Then is coming my halibut steamed in wild garlic. Few cauliflower florets with cashew nut scramble. Few leaves of fresh dill. And I'm gonna finish it with amazing wild garlic sauce. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn more about fine dining cooking or get my personal coaching, Check out the links in the description down below. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.